that's no other So I'll pet with nobody but my pet She's so refined, sweet and kind A perfect gem, she's got it As you play a song with your lips So red and your legs so goddamn long Your sound hit the top your eyes Don't you like it when these diamonds look like this? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little closer, says this boy. This is Saturnius. My spider linked gene ball python. If you could see that movement he was doing with his head, it's because of a genetic issue that he has. When they were breeding him for this beautiful color pattern, Unfortunately, some of these snakes get really bad vertigo. Uh, Saturnius is blessed in that it's not that bad of an issue for him. But I thought I would share his little wobble. See if he'll do it again. Sometimes it's very pronounced. At other times, not so much. Either way, he is just a beautiful, beautiful snake. Paper towels. Do you mind paper towels? Do you mind paper towels? He loves paper towels. He'll tear them apart. That is Septarian. My three year old Marshall Ferret. Some things fell because he knocked them over and he is just getting into trouble. He's just getting into trouble. Little baby, trouble. Oh, yeah. What are you biting? Don't bite that. Don't bite that. You gotta watch them. Depends on the ferret. Uh, some will even bite on wires, which I don't want him to do. I don't want him to bite on my wires. God, they're so cute. You guys are so cute. He's so cute. Over here. This is Scooter. I've had Scooter for over 15 years. He is a California king snake. They are native here to North America. And they're called a king snake because they will eat other snakes. And then lastly... My only female, she's up here being all crazy. Her name's Ophusha. Her name was Ophusius, which is the supposable 13th zodiac sign. But she was sex and we realized it's a girl. So I change it from Ophusius to Ophusha. And right now I have some humidity going on in both their tanks because they are not native to North America. They are a tropical species and they need more humidity. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of my animal room. My dizzy dizzy baby and my dizzy boy. My dizzy dizzy baby. His dizziness is why I bought him. Thought he was so cute. Well, it is feeding day. Over here, I have some mice. I defrosted them. They were in the fridge getting defrosted, and now I'm going to feed them. So I have switched from live mice to frozen, and the reason behind that was... Hormonally, I was starting to get a little too upset. 
it was hard for me to sacrifice the mice. It was getting harder and harder, and I would end up keeping, keeping pet mice. So, I switched over to Frozen, and it has been easier for me. It's been some adjusting for the snakes, but it's been like two years now, and I think they're used to it. So, this is how I feed my babies. I give them two mice every two weeks. That is the feeding pattern I've always held since I've kept snakes since I was 13 years old. And now I am 32, so that is over half my life. And I love keeping snakes. It makes me very happy and very fulfilled. I love my scale babies. Scooter, my 16 year old king snake. That is her snake. While he eats, I will switch out his water. Look at the very end, it's like a spaghetti noodle. Aren't snakes so cool? They can unhinge their jaws to be able to fit in their prey. Scooter's my old boy. Snakes live a very long time. They can live anywhere from 30 to 40 years. So if you're gonna get a snake, it is a long commitment. This ferret is making so much noise. He just spilled the humidifier. Stop it. You crazy. See all the water on the floor? Now let's see if he can find his other mouse. He's old and I think his heat sensors are broken. Sometimes he needs a little extra help to find his food. So what I'll do is I'll take the tongue and I'll shake the mouse and he'll see the movement because his heat sensors are broke. So he's literally on top of it. Look, he found, I think he found it. He can smell. And they usually like to go for the head first. The anatomy of the mouse will go down easier so no legs stick out. So I think he is looking. Oh, he went right for the belly. Let's see how he maneuvers this one. My other snakes are so hungry, they know it's feeding day. Look. They're like, where is it? So he is taking his mouse. Oh, he's making a liar out of me. He's taking it from the back end. Sometimes they will start and then stop. But it looks like he, uh, he's got it down pat. I'm going to fill up his water bottle. I mean his water, his water bowl. In the summertime, it's especially important to keep their water filled. So I just wash it out and then I have a big jug of water. And my king sneak will take a bath when he is finished. He loves to take a bath when he's finished. I think it may help them with digestion. Okay, and since he has eaten two of his mice, I will put his lid back on. Moving on to Saturnius. Look, you see my feet and see a little ferret toy on the floor. I got you on top of his tank looking through his uh, his screen, which is funny. You can't even see the screen on the video. Maybe if I... There you go. All right. No, oh, he's hungry. What I think I'm going to do is uh, give him his mouse first, then keep recording. Now, I have put the mice in. We'll see how long it takes for him to smell them. I do have a fan going. I like to wait till they eat it before I get into their water. I have some moss in the corner of his cage to keep up on some of the humidity. He struck the glass. He may have felt my radiant heat. So, baby boy struck the glass. His mice are right under him. Let's see uh, see if he finds him. He's got to smell him, but he can feel my radiant heat, so I'm going to back up. Now, I did not heat these ones. Reason being, the last couple times I have soaked them in warm water to heat up the mice, their guts are exploding. It's disgusting. It's like their stomach walls are so thin, these mice, that they're exploding. And then there's like entrails all over my snakes and all over the tanks. And it's disgusting. So I tried something different this time. He's literally right on top of him. I feel so bad that he struck the, the tank. That does happen sometimes. That does happen sometimes. And he got my girl over here. Wow, it's a bad 
Got my girl over here. She's hungry too. Now hopefully he can find them. I mean, those mice are literally right under his face. Um, if my old boy could find them, this baby better. Um, and they may be a little nervous too because I do not have a hide in here. I recently cleaned their tanks and the humidity was putting a little bit of mold on their wooden hides. So I have moved them. Now what I would like to do is change the water, but he is hungry and he will strike and he's young. So he's the only sneak to ever bite me on accident. He thought I was food. I was messing around in there and not paying attention and I got bit. It doesn't really hurt. It's more startling than anything. Now if he isn't able to find these mice, I will have to take the tongue and move him around. See, he can see my, my heat from my legs. Sorry, you can see such a glare. You can see me and the ferret. You're right on him, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're right there. I'm trying. I'm going to try to sneak him while he's not looking. Oh, he, he sees me. He can feel me. Right there. You're right on top of it. I think he feels my heat more than anything. I'm going to wait until he gets one in his mouth and then change his water. This might be really close. That might be really close. And I'm really sweaty. It's really hot today in Jersey. Where are you from? What's your weather like today? Okay, I'm moving on to my girl. All right, Nana. My Ophusha. My Ophusha. Now, she is a beast. She is my heaviest. She is my heaviest. I got you on top of the tank. And I think she can sense the heat of the camera. Oh, yeah, she totally can. That is such a cool view. I'm even happy about it. I don't want her to strike it, so I am going to pull back. Because I want her to strike in an actual mouse and not like my last one. Biting, go ahead and striking his face against the tank. But this girl, she is ready to go. She is hungry. So, I'm not going to make her wait too long. And it is the last two. Whoa! Girl got out. Uh-oh, we got a Lucy. I'm going to put the ferret away. Come on, in your tank, baby. In your cage. Sorry, buddy. He never gets locked in his cage. Oh, I'm going to grab her. And they normally won't like to eat after they've been handled, but I'm going to put you in my... We got an escape artist here. I might have to put the camera down. She is strong. Come on, girly girl. Oh boy, I'm putting the camera down, loves. That was some crazy escapage. Now, boy over here still did not find. Scooter, who is normally my most pickiest eater, is done. And now we got girl girl. I didn't even shut your tank right. I got so scared for you, my dinky dinky. Everyone always wonders how I keep a ferret in a snake room. Their tanks are always closed. They have lids and I lock them. It's more like a ferret room. I usually keep more than one ferret. Right now, we just have the one. So let's see if Nana can find her mice. Oh, we got another one strike in the class. That's twice. That's girl, sweetie. You just written a whole bunch of mouse guts. 
The suspense is killing me. I may need to step away. My body heat. Oh, look. Got a baby taking a bath. He'll literally put his whole body through. Which is pretty cool. Look, you can see my sneak tattoo. Very cool. This is my scooter taking a bath. Now, I might have to use the tong and kind of move these mice around for my spider link jean python, ball python, because I don't think he sees them and they're right in front of him. So, we will see. I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe keep filming. I want to thank you for watching this far, so stay with me to see what else we can see about these beautiful scale babies. Of course, when I wasn't recording, she got one. But that's okay. I'm going to fill her water bowl up. What I like to use are bowls that are very heavy. So the ball pythons are much bigger and much stronger and need a very heavy bowl. Scooter has a pie dish. Saturnius actually has a bowl that was hers when she was little, but she has grown since they switched their tanks out. So that's a weighted bowl. And now, Ophusha has a weighted pie dish. So just a little tip, if you want to keep snakes, make sure you have a nice heavy bowl or they will just spill the whole thing over. Well, I'm gonna fill her water. The substrate that I use is actually indoor outdoor carpet. I found it's easiest for me and it keeps my snake tanks the cleanest. You never want to use anything like cedar. It could release oils that could be deadly for your snake. Also, you want to watch some things that are too fine. They can breathe in those particles since they can't really wipe their noses. No hands. So some people use newspapers or paper towel. But what I find easiest is the carpet. It's just an indoor outdoor carpet. And what I like about it is I have a couple pieces that are cut to size. And when I clean their tank out, I just put another piece in, launder the other ones right in the laundry machine, let them uh, air out in the sun and uh, get disinfected that way. And that is how I substrate for my snakes. Now my youngest still has not found his mouse. Maybe he prefers them to be extra hot. So very carefully, trying to show him that this indeed is his food. Now I'm gonna back away, see how he does. Put the lid on though. I would like to change his water and call it a day, but not every feeding experience is easy. Sometimes I have super easy feeding days. Boy, in the winter, some snakes can go through a hibernation period where they don't eat. So you defrost all the mice, you try to feed them, and they don't eat. My number one snake who hibernates the most is Scooter. Scooter is from North America. So there are times where in California and North America, there are no mice. They're hiding. These guys don't hibernate quite as much. He has once when I first got him, but she never. She will always eat. Another time snakes won't eat is when they're about to shed. One way you can tell is a few days before they shed, their eyes will get like a cloudy covering. And it's not really a great time to handle them. They seem like they're sleeping. They're very low energy. Sometimes they won't eat. This girl, this beast, she will always eat. Even if her eyes are cloudy, she is a beast. I really hope I can get my other boy to eat. What I think I'm going to do is put part of his, his uh, lid down so I don't get bit because <laughs> he's hungry and clean his water out now. 
Another thing to point out is ball pythons are extremely shy. And because I just cleaned their tank and washed their hides, they have no hideouts right now. So I move them around. I'm sure he can smell them. I have moistened his moss in the corner. And I'm just going to leave him be. In the meantime, Ophusha, even though the mouse was dead, she constricted for quite a while. So all of my snakes are constrictors, which means they constrict their prey. They grab, they bite them and squeeze them with their bodies until they no longer are breathing. So even though this mouse was dead, she has um, constricted for quite a while. Now she's eating them. Like I said before, they usually eat them head first. It's a little bit easier for them. And she's taking her sweet time. In the meantime, what do we have over here? He loves to tear apart paper towels. I don't really use paper towels. The only reason why I use paper towels is to pick up gross stuff. We actually use reusable cloths. But anything that's really nasty gets a paper towel. So I am going to let my babies do their thing. I'm going to set back up their humidifier. And like I said, they can be shy. Scooter's not shy, but my ball pythons are. And I've made two of them with my body heat because I'm so hot. I've made two of them strike a cage today. So I'm going to set up their humidifier and... Let time do its thing. I've come back sometimes a day later and then my cellar are eating and I gotta throw them away. Um, a lot of times in that case, um, especially if it's during a hibernation time, I won't even refeed them until two weeks later. Uh, I've had this snake has hibernated up to six months once and this guy has hibernated up to four months once. So, and I always freak out and call the vet. It's just natural. It's something they do when it gets colder. So, I am going to let them go. Everybody is so hot. Look. Woo-wee. Lou? Lou? Hi. Zach? Hi. We just got a house full of babies, huh? Zachy. And they all live in harmony. Down at my feet. Whoa. Down at my feet. You got Zeptarian. Again, my name is Princess Katie. If it's your first time watching my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And please consider subscribing. Majority of my videos are me singing, astrology, spirituality, uh, but I also love pets. So thank you so much again for watching. Blessing you with love, happiness, health, and wealth.